Good morning, Year 3. It's the 9th of February 2021, and our walk for today is to use column subtraction for three and two-digit numbers when exchanging is required in multiple columns. So yesterday we were exchanging in the hundreds column. Today we're going to be exchanging in the hundreds and the tens column. So if you'd like to pause the video and write today's date and walk, and then have a think about what we've learnt over the last week about subtraction. Okay, before we begin our maths lesson, I'm feeling a little bit sad today. Tomorrow, we don't have a maths lesson as it's wind down Wednesday. And then Thursday and Friday, Mrs. Dyer will be finishing the subtraction unit with you. And then after half term, I'm going to be doing your English videos and Mr. Bamwell will be doing your maths videos. So this is our last maths lesson, hopefully, that we will ever record together um, because Mr. Bamwell's taking over after half term. So to finish our maths time together, I thought we would draw Coco on our head. So we've already drawn Colin, so we're going to have a go at Coco today. So what you've got to do, if you remember, is you need a plain piece of paper and a pen, it can be a felt tip, anything you like. If you get that ready, come back and then we'll draw Coco together. Okay, so hopefully you're ready now. I'm using a marker pen, which isn't a great idea if I miss the paper, is it? Otherwise, I, I, I have marker pen all over my head. So I'm going to pop the paper on top of my head and we are going to try and draw Coco. Let's see if we can do a better job with Coco than we did with Colin. Some of your pictures were great that you sent in. But let's have a little go. I'm going to start with Coco's head. So hard drawing on your head, isn't it? Oh. I'm going to do the wings now. And the feet. Okay, I finished mine. Are you ready to see? <gasps> What's it turn? Oh dear, there's my attempt. You can kind of make out the wings, can't you? In the top of his head, his feathers, but not a lot else. I wonder if you've managed to do better than I have. So feel free to send those in just so I can see how you got on. It might be um, that you want to draw Coco and Colin properly. So not on your head, but actually draw them. And if you send those in, then I could print them out or you can bring them in when we're back together and we could put them up in our classroom. So if you're feeling artistic and you'd like to draw Colin and Coco properly, then have a go and we can display those when we get back to school. OK, let's start our maths lesson. So a recap on what we learnt yesterday. So yesterday we were exchanging in the hundreds column. So Colin has got the question. 728 subtract 65. Which is the correct answer? A, B or C? So just pause the video and have a quick go. And now let's go through the answer together. So let's start with our ones. Eight ones subtract five ones. So hopefully you know that number fact and we know that we are going to be left with three ones. So at the minute, it could be A, B or C, as they all have what three ones as their answer. So let's work out the tens. Two tens subtract six tens. Now, I remember from last lesson that if my tens are less in my minuend than they are in my subtrahend, then I need to exchange. So I'm going to exchange 100 for 10 tens. So I've now got six hundreds and twelve tens. So twelve tens subtract six tens. That's going to leave me with six tens, as we know that twelve subtract six is six. And then our hundreds, six hundred subtract zero hundred. I'm going to be left with six hundred. So the correct answer is six hundred and sixty-three, and that's B. So let's move on to today's learning. So we're going to be exchanging in multiple columns today. So we could be exchanging in our tens, our hundreds or both. So let's have a look at the first example. 522 is our minuend and we are subtracting 64. So let's start with our ones. Two ones subtract four ones. The ones digit is less in the minuend than the subtrahend. So I'm going to have to exchange. 
So I'm going to exchange one tem. So I'm going to do that on my place value chart as well. And I'm going to exchange that one ten for ten ones. So let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I've now got one ten left, but I've got 12 ones. So 12 ones subtract four. I'm going to see how many I'm left with. So I'm going to subtract four. One, two, three, four. So hopefully you can see that I'm left with eight ones. I'm now going to look at my tens. One ten subtract six tens. The 10 in my minuend is less than the 10 in my subtrahend. So what am I going to have to do? Exchange 100 for 10 tens. So let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And I'm going to show that on my column subtraction. So I exchanged 100, so I've now got 400s left, and I exchanged it for 10 tens. So I've now got 11 tens. If I just make that a little bit bigger, I've now got 11 tens. So 11 subtract six. 11 tens subtract six tens. So let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, Six. I've subtracted 60, six tens. How many tens am I left with? I'm left with five tens. Now I'm going to subtract my hundreds, 400, subtract zero hundreds. I'm still left with my 400. So the answer is 458. Okay, let's have a go at another calculation. So this time my minuend is 255 and I'm subtracting 66. So five ones subtract six ones. I'm going to have to exchange here, aren't I? As my minuend has less ones than my subtrahend. So I'm going to exchange one ten for ten ones. So let's just count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. I was looking very full in my tens column, isn't it? So let's just show that here. So I subtracted, exchanged one ten for 10 ones. So I've now got 15 ones and I'm going to subtract six ones. Three, four, five, six. So how many ones am I left with? And you can count them if you need to, but hopefully you know what 15 subtract six is. So I'm left with nine ones. Now I'm going to subtract my tens. So four tens subtract six tens. Am I able to do that? Hopefully you're saying no. So I'm going to have to exchange one of my hundreds for 10 tens. So let's do that together. So I'm exchanging one of my hundreds. I'm just going to put it over here and I'm exchanging it for 10 tens. So one ten, two tens, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And let's show that on our column subtraction. So we've exchanged 100, so I'm left with 100, and we've exchanged it for 10 tens. So I've now got 14 tens. So I can now work out that calculation. 14 tens subtract six tens. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. How many tens am I left with? So you can count the tens if you need to, or hopefully you can work out what 14 subtract six is. So I'm left with eight tens, 80. Now I'm going to subtract my hundreds. 100 subtract zero hundreds. So I'm left with 100. So the answer is 189. Let's have a go at another one. So the more practice we do, hopefully the more confident we are at completing these calculations. So 506 subtract 59. So let's start with our ones. 
six ones subtract nine ones. I'm going to have to exchange here, aren't I? As I haven't got enough ones in my minuend. So I'm going to go over to my tens. I've got zero tens, so I can't exchange my tens. So what am I going to have to do here? I'm going to have to exchange my hundred. So I'm going to exchange 100 for 10 tens. So 100, and I'm going to exchange it for 10 tens. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I had to do that as I didn't have any tens. Okay, so I've now got 10 tens. So I can now exchange one of those tens for 10 ones. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm just going to show that here. So I exchanged one of those tens. So I'm now left with nine tens and I exchanged it for 10 ones. So I've now got 16 ones. So now we're going to work out our ones. So 10 ones, 16 ones subtract nine ones. So if you need to, we can move our ones. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So how many ones am I left with? So hopefully you can see that we are left with seven ones because 16 subtract nine equals seven. Now we're going to have a look at our tens. Nine tens subtract five tens. Can we do that? Yes, we can do that. We've already exchanged 100 for tens. So we can do that already. Nine tens subtract five tens. So one, two, three, four, five. 90 subtract 50. So I'm left with four tens. Now I'm going to subtract my hundreds. Four hundreds subtract zero hundreds. So I'm left with 400. So the answer to 506 subtract 59 is 447. So that one was a little bit more tricky as we didn't have enough ones. So we had to exchange our tens, but we didn't have enough tens. So we needed to go to our hundreds and we needed to exchange our hundreds first. Okay, so that was a little bit more tricky, but hopefully you understand now what you need to do. Okay, I'm going to have a look at this one next. So Colin thinks he has worked out this question correctly. So 220 subtracts 61. So our minuend is 220. We're subtracting our subtrahend of 61 and we're looking at what we're left with, the difference. So just pause the video and have a look at Colin's calculation. Is he correct? And what do you notice? So hopefully you've noticed that Colin isn't correct and hopefully we can help him get to the correct answer. So we've got here 220. Well, have we got 220 up here? No, I'm not sure. What's, oh, he's showing what's... No, I'm not sure what he's showing, actually. So let's start with 220 to help Colin out. So 220 is 200s and two tens. So we're going to start with our ones. So we had zero ones subtract one. So can we do that? No. So we need to exchange. So I'm going to exchange one of my tens for ten ones. Place value chat likes moving, doesn't it? So a two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. OK, so I'm going to show that on here. Let's see if Colin's done this correctly. So I started with two tens, but I exchanged one of those tens for one ten. Ah, so what's Colin forgotten to do? Colin did exchange one ten for ten ones, and he put that he had one ten left, but he left the two tens there. We need to make sure that we are crossing out our two tens to show that we no longer have two tens. We've got one 10 left and we've got 10 ones. 
So 10 ones subtract one equals nine ones. And we can show that here. Okay, now let's go to our tens. One ten subtract six tens equals six. Colin thought it was 12 tens, didn't he? That's where he's got the six tens from. But we know that it's actually one ten that we've got left here. And we are trying to subtract six tens. We can't do that at the moment. So we need to exchange one of our hundreds for 10 tens. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And let's show that. So we had 200, we've exchanged 100. So we've got 100 left and we exchanged our 100 for 10 tens. So we've now got 11 tens and we're going to subtract six tens. So one, two, three, four, five, six. How many tens are we left with? We are left with five tens. So I'm going to put five in there. Now we're going to subtract our hundreds. 100 subtract 0, 100 equals 100. So the correct answer is 159. So we need to make sure that we don't make the same mistake as Colin when we are working out our calculations. Okay, so it's your turn now to have a go in your home learning books. So you have got four questions to have a go at. And as always, we've got some helpful hints around the board to help you. So we need to remember to line up our digits correctly. Really important when we're subtracting a two digit and a three digit number. Okay, we need to make sure those digits are underneath the correct place value headings. I've also got Coco helping you out with those stem sentences. And we also just need to remember that if the ones or the tens digit in the menu end is less than the ones or the tens in the subtra end, then we need to exchange. Okay, we are exchanging in multiple columns. So just look closely to see if the ones or the tens in the menu end are less than in the subtra end. Okay, so if you pause the video and have a go at those four calculations, and then we we'll go through the answers together. So let's go through the first one. So 543, it's our menu end, subtract 76. So we're going to start with the ones. Three ones subtract six ones. So we know that we're going to have to exchange here as our menu end has less ones than our subtrahend. So I'm going to exchange one ten. So I'm left with three tens for 10 ones, so I've now got 13 ones. 13 subtract six, so hopefully you've worked out that that's going to be seven left. Now I'm going to work out my tens. Three tens subtract seven tens. We can't do that at the moment, so we need to exchange 100, which leaves us with 400 for 10 tens, so I've now got 13 tens. 13 subtract seven, well, hopefully we know the answer to that by looking at the previous fact. So I'm going to be left with six tens. Now I'm going to subtract my hundreds. 400 subtract zero hundred. So I'm left with 400. So the correct answer is 467. So give yourself a tick, a thumbs up if you got that one correct. Okay, let's have a go at the second calculation. So this time our menu end is 665 and we are subtracting 89. So I'm making sure I'm lining up those digits correctly. Eight tens, nine ones. Five subtract nine, we can't do, so we're gonna to have to exchange. So 15 ones subtract nine ones, we can now work that out, and we're going to be left with six ones. Five tens subtract eight tens, we need to exchange. So I'm going to exchange 100 for 10 tens, 15 subtract eight, so I can now work this one out and I know I'm going to be left with seven tens. And then 500 subtract zero, so I'm going to be left with 500. So the correct answer is 576. Okay, let's have a go at the third calculation. So this time my menu end is 141. And my subtrahend is 47. 
So one subtract seven, we're going to have to exchange in our tens. So I've got three tens now and I'm exchanging for 10 ones. So I've now got 11 ones. So 11 subtract seven, we know that we can do that. And we're going to be left with four ones. Three tens subtract four tens. Can't do that one. So I'm going to have to exchange my 100. So I'm left with zero hundreds now for 10 tens. 13 subtract four, we can do that. And we're going to be left with nine tens. So the correct answer is 94. And then let's have a go at the last one. So this time we've got our missing box at the start, but that doesn't matter, does it? We know that both sides are going to be equal. So we know that we're just trying to find the answer again, what's left the difference. So our minuend is 167, our subtrahend is 89. Let's start with our ones, seven subtract nine. I can't do that, my minuend has less ones than my subtrahend. So I'm going to exchange one 10 for 10 ones. 17 subtract nine, I can now work that out. So I know that I'm going to be left with eight ones. Five tens subtract eight tens. 50 subtract 80, I'm going to have to exchange again. So I'm going to exchange my 100, so I'm left with zero hundreds. Or 10 tens, so I've now got 15 tens. 15 subtract eight, so hopefully we know that that's going to leave us with seven tens. So the correct answer is 78. So well done for having a go at those. If you need some more practice, as always, there are a few more examples on your maths, maths sheet for today. If you feel confident and you're happy to move straight on to go deep, then that's absolutely fine. So you'll go deep for today. Surprise, surprise, Colin needs your help again. So Colin thinks that 624 subtract 76 is 658. Now straight away, I hope that you can spot that that's not possible because we are working out the difference. And the difference, the answer there is greater than the number, the minuend that we started with. So try and work out where Colin's gone wrong, what has or hasn't he done correctly, okay? And try as always to use the language that we've been using in the lesson. And then you'll go deeper for today is a always, sometimes, never true question. So have a good go at those and we'll look forward to seeing your work later and enjoy the rest of your day.